Cosmetic and the Monarch versus Rambo Ron Star and my good personal friend, Cheeky Star, one of the greatest wrestlers ever to come out of Puerto Rico, Vega Baja to be exact. Oh, what's the matter? Ron Star is not your personal good oh, friend? Oh, yeah, Ron's a good friend of mine, but Cheeky and I are close. Cheeky and I have a few things we like to do. I think you guys are, are conspiring against uh, Ron Star. I don't, I don't think you guys give him the credit. No, Cheeky makes Ron Star. We all know that. Cheeky Star is one of the greatest individual athletes in professional wrestling, whether it be baseball, football, anything, Cheeky Star is a great athlete. Okay. Oh, I want to see this monarch. He's from Mexico, okay, right? Okay, he's from Mexico. He's got a very different style, so don't be shocked when someone moves. He does because that's the style of Mexico. And next to him, uh, his partner is a super medic, and he is a well-known, famous wrestler. He will be in there in a few seconds, I guess, and when he's in there, we all going to feel his presence. Oh, that's right. You know, you, the thing about the monarch is, what a lot of people don't understand is, Cheeky Star at one time wrestled in Mexico, so I'm sure... Look at that move. <laughs> oh, you talking about speed, my man? I want to tell you something. I didn't see that. I didn't see what I think He could have yeah. knocked out the round star if he wanted to. This guy's pretty quick, isn't he? Yeah. See, they start with amateur wrestler when they're about 14. They're already super good amateur wrestlers. Then they go into the gym for self-conditioning. Then they learn semi-pro wrestling. Then they learn judo and some karate, and then they're ready to go for professional wrestling. So. But Chiki Star wrestled Mexico, so he knows this stuff too. Good boy, Chiki. Nice kip up. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's like a, that's like if you're going to the bullfight, you know, at Torero. Well, if that's what he's gonna do, then he ought to be at the bullfight instead of wrestling. El Monarca, the Monarch, and the Super Medic against the famous cousins Rambo Ron Star and Chicken Star. Were, were these guys a, a form, I mean, were they a team before the tournament, or they were a team that, that, that just got in the tournament? No, they got in into the tournament. With hope, hoping with oh, oh. coming. Oh! What about this move? Oh. oh! Get your arm socket. Well, as you can see, this man here has got some fantastic moves, ladies and gentlemen. And Cheeky Star is just a little he's bit shocked. frustrated. I'm telling you right now. I see you're shocked here next to me. Well, he's kind of amazed at me. Yeah, I'm going to have to make a trip to Mexico to see how good this boy is. Mexico is known for their spectacular wrestling. They don't have good, solid wrestling as far as the heavyweights. You know, I do believe the Americans, Japanese, Europeans have better heavyweight wrestling and so here in Puerto Rico. But in the light heavyweight division, the middleweights, you cannot find it any better than in Mexico. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is this guy's probably one of the larger guys in Mexico, isn't he? Yes. Look at that. Good move. Here comes Ron Starr. He's in trouble. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, boy. Ron Starr was getting out of town before he could do anything right yeah, there. He was trying to punch Monarca, and Monarca was going down to try to break his arm. That's right. I think Rambo Ron Starr is a little frustrated. I think the Cheeky Starr is frustrated. And here's the Superman. Oh, big slam. Boy, they just... As you see right there, he's pulling Cheeky's tights. That's illegal. I think I the referee, Ricky Vargas, ought to do something about okay, that. Okay, they just got in trouble with a monarch, and here comes the Super Medic, and he's making things worse. He's giving them more Star. trouble. Cheeky Star and Rambo Run Star, a very good established tag team, need to get it together. They need to sit down, talk about it, forget what this monarch They don't have time to talk about it. That's right. You don't they have that much time. forget about this monarch stuff. That's what we're saying about tag team wrestling, especially in a tournament situation. In a tag team match, you got 60 minutes. That's now right. Now you've got 10. And 10 minutes, it's not that much time. You can't you change the game plan, When brother. you have to deal with somebody like the super medic, who's a top temperamental scientific wrestler and the monarcha, the monarch with that exciting different style. That's right, and you, you can't let that monarch style throw you completely out of your game plan. Because the minute you do, then you're done. Okay, the super medic. Good hammer lock by the medic on Chicky Star takes him over. Beautiful hammer shakedown with the head scissors put in for it. Just added leverage. You see, he's about four feet from his corner, and he can't even tag his partner. That's what you call getting tied up a little bit. Not only that, but the fans are getting right into the match, and, and we already know that Ron Star and Chicky Star went the whole building starts going for their opponents, they start making mistakes. That's they cannot right. deal with too much noise. Oh, what a kick. Oh. Another one with a point. I'm telling you, this man here, oh, 
Now those are right hands, they're illegal, I know it, the people watching this video know it, and it was, oh, oh. It's illegal. The man should be disqualified, he should be out of the tournament. But it can get you a win. Hello, Ron Sar. I'm telling you, right there, see he hasn't got that leg wrapped up, one, two, and his hands on the rope, but he didn't have the leg wrapped up, I okay. saw that, didn't you? Almost a three count. Okay, here comes Monarca. Look out, can they handle? This Mexican wrestler, he's very strange. For an American style European wrestler to deal with somebody like Monarca is frustrating. Yes, because you could be your best and not necessarily come out ahead with this guy. Look at this. Oh. He's shocking him. Oh, nice, nice drop kick. He didn't get all of him there, but he got enough Just chicken. He doesn't want no more of him. That's right. Now, see. They've got to change the game plan, but they don't know how to change the game plan. Perhaps they don't have enough time to change it. That's right. Ten minutes is not enough time to change the game plan in the middle of it. But I'll tell you something. All it takes is one move, one miss by Monarca, and he's going to be at somebody's mercy, and Adam Thirsty will be Cheeky Star. Look out. Good move, man. Good follow-through. And he, and he goes right for the super medic. So just when the, the cousins are trying to figure out the style, here he tags his partner. Very smart move. Here was, comes Ron Starr. It was a made-up team to get into the tournament. They're doing great. Hopes of winning. They're doing fantastic. Yeah. An underdog team here, but they're doing good here. White Medic right there has got a good headlock on Cheeky Star. Oh, oh good move by Cheeky. Look yes. at a shoulder tackle, though. Oh, right into the knee of Ron Starr. Yeah, they got him now. That, whoa. What a yeah. kick. And now Ron Starr is coming, and he's mad. He's upset. Those are all legal forums. Those, those, those aren't blatant out and out fists like we saw a minute ago. High backdrop. Wow. Oh. Got the whole body up there. Ron oh, Star. Yeah. They're going for the win right here. Oh, big knee on him. Yeah, they're they're doing it right. Ron Star, you got ten minutes. You better start trying to beat that man. Big leg drop across the throat. That could be a finish. Okay, good follow through. Hasn't got the leg. Did not have the leg, did not grab the leg. You cannot pin a man unless you grab that leg and tie him up. That's right, but look out. Open space. Good target, courtesy of Chicky Star. And here comes Chicky now. Good kicks. Ooh, good hard kicks. And right Ron Star right. takes over Choking him. from the outside. And I've seen you do that with your partner, Bob. I don't think you've seen me do that. I know there's no referees that have seen me do that. Yes. No, never, Hugo Savinovich. A couple never. of times. Look out. Right there, there's two, they're just stretching him right there. They, they're taking that valuable oxygen right away from that super medic. Taking the oxygen, his neck, his throat. Stretching him all the way. Now the medic is in trouble. Chicky Star all over the super medic. Good body slam. He tags Ron Star. He comes in. Oh, big boot right in the face. Yeah, okay. Now beat him, Ron. You got to beat him. Big knee. Oh, yeah. Right there. He, he, should, he should try to be pinning this man right now, Hugo. I think, you know, Ron right to the head. Brace on that those, right knee, you know. those blows to the head, devastating. Oh, yeah. Ron star has got a brace on that knee. That's actually what he's hitting that man with. I'm glad you're admitting to something here, Bobby. Usually you protect all your well, buddies. The braces. Now, Ron hasn't got that leg wrapped up, so he can't beat nobody. Let me tell you something. I'm not admitting to nothing. He's got a brace on, but he's got padding on it. It's a legal brace. Okay, through the ropes, goes the Superman. Oh. He puts the brakes. What a kick to Ron Star. He takes the Monarca of Mexico City. He comes in with some vicious chops, throws him to the turnbuckle. And Ron Star, I don't know how he was able to stop Monarca. He throws him into the ropes. Here he comes. High oh, knee. high knee right there. Strong move by Ron Starr. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Deep, deep. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. There it is right there. Brain buster. I have One, never seen two, a brain buster applied three. that way. And I'll tell you something. He should have wrapped that leg up, but he didn't do it. Hey, after that impact, he didn't need to hook the leg. Nevertheless, the winners are Ron Starr and Chicky Starr.